Athletes and coaches filled the Regents meeting today to plead their case. UNM says teams will have to be cut to deal with a multi-million dollar deficit in the athletic department, but no team wants it to be them. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at UNM with what people had to say. Rebecca. Can anybody hear me? Let's talk from 91 to 94. I was a one by one, former athletes, coaches, and members of the community came to speak this morning before the UNM Board of Regents. The head coach for UNM men's soccer even got choked up at the thought his team could soon be gone. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed to be up here. That's how I feel. I'm embarrassed. He and a dozen others are fighting to keep sports teams at UNM that may be cut. Does cutting sports really fix the problem? The athletics department has said they could get rid of teams due to major financial struggles. And an inability to resolve the deficit has led us to this unfortunate position. Today, President Garnett Stokes and Athletics Director Eddie Nunez presented Regents with their athletics deficit plan to reduce sports by $1.9 million. The plan we're presenting is a realistic one that allows athletics to eliminate the recurring deficit and pay back <coughs> a substantial portion of the accumulated deficit. With only one opposition, Regents approved the plan, but what teams will go? That is still up in the air. But at this point, there's no sports that are being cut. There's no decisions on a sport more than another sport. Is cutting sports an, op an option? You know, I, again, at the end of the day, that's something that we're going to have to determine as a group. Now, Nunez says they are still working to figure out how much each sport costs as well as how much revenue they bring in, but he says that is not the only determining factor when deciding which teams will be on the cut list. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, they do have hope to have those numbers determined by July. Although the Board of Regents approved the deficit plan, the Higher Education Department still has to hear it and then approve it.